Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. I mentioned in a weekly vlog a few weeks ago that I'm kind of embarking on the next phase of my fitness journey. If you're new around here, um, you won't know, but in 2019, I underwent an enormous lifestyle change and changed every aspect of my life and went from being uh, an extremely sedentary person with absolutely no knowledge about nutrition or food or exercise or basically I lived a very unhealthy lifestyle and I was mentally in quite a bad place physically the heaviest I'd ever been I just wasn't taking care of myself and in 2019 I um, changed so much I fell in love with exercise i fell in love with fitness i fell in love with cooking like i learned how to cook over the course of that year i lost about 22 kilos or like 50 pounds i felt amazing for obvious reasons i was looking after myself my mental health massively improved my physical health obviously massively improved and my lifestyle went from zero to 100 i made friends at the gym and it just basically changed my life for the better and was the best thing I ever did ever <laughs> like the day I decided to make a change I literally like will always be grateful for that decision that I made and grateful for sad past Emma who decided that enough was enough so I've now been weightlifting and training for about two and a half years um which is mental I have learned a lot in those two and a half years and I've built a lot of strength in those two and a half years I've built a lot of muscle I've had a lot of fun doing it and I've documented a lot of it with you guys the past six months I have probably been the least on it <laughs> that I've been since before my journey started I'm not saying that I've fallen off track because there is no track with me it is all a journey do you know what I mean like there's going to be ebbs and flows in how much I'm prioritising that side of my life. And over the past six months, my fitness and my health has not been my priority at all. My mental health and enjoying myself and having fun with my friends and meeting new people has definitely been my priority. And I am absolutely happy with that decision. Like, I've had a great time recently. However... I'm getting to the stage now where I am starting to feel uncomfortable. My clothes aren't fitting me. Um, I am growing out of most of my clothes. Like I've gained about 15 pounds. I've gained about a stone in the past four months, um, which isn't terrible. It's happy weight, it's fun weight, it's too much drinking, too much of everything basically. Like since going on the cruise, I've basically kept that level of just gluttony for the past few months um and i've had god i've had a great time i've eaten so much good food but yeah it's getting to the point now where like all i can really wear is active wear and trackies because my clothes don't fit me and i just want to get back to my kind of happy comfortable size range weight strength you know i don't want to buy a new wardrobe full of clothes and i know that how i've been living the past few months has been an extreme on one end like it's not a sustainable lifestyle which is why i'm saying it because if i just gained a little bit of weight because you know in general i was just eating a little bit more that's fine but i've been absolutely going all out every weekend you know i got sent all that cheesecake the other day and i ate like three slices in a day like that's not normal <laughs> Like, that's not a sustainable uh, dietary choice, you could say. So I just thought I would document me kind of getting back on track or, you know, just reining it in a little bit. Um, I know I'm going to have to put a disclaimer in here. Like, I think if you are new here, this could be taken one way. But I think if you know me and you understand my relationship with food and exercise and my history with it and the journey I've been on and how I feel about, you know, self-acceptance, self-love, body positivity, as well as also fitness and health and finding a balance between the two. Like if, you, if you've watched my videos, I'm sure these disclaimers are not necessary. Um, but just in case I upset anyone or offend anyone, this is my body and 
I know how my body feels when I treat it well. I know how I feel when the effects of that kick in. I'm not, you know, looking to be super duper lean or anything like that. Like I don't wanna go down a dress size. I just wanna fit my clothes again. But I do wanna obviously maintain all my strength and maintain muscle and try and build strength and muscle as I go. So this isn't gonna be this like crazy, crazy three week crash stuff. Like that is absolutely not my style. I'm just gonna make a few healthier choices here and there, make a few tweaks and um, train really hard like I love to do and just try and get consistent again. That's my problem, I've lost my consistency. So I just thought I would do the odd kind of dedicated fitness update video throughout the weeks um, because I know that some people do find this topic quite triggering. I am gonna be starting to work with a coach again um, and I've now worked with a PT, an online coach and now I'm working with a I'll talk about it more with it's kind of a virtual coach and I'm excited about it like I I'm not planning on really tracking or anything like that I do really enjoy the kind of teamwork aspect of having a coach and like making someone proud um, and having someone hold me accountable um, that is just something that I have found really really works for me I've taken you know a good kind of six month break of, of just working out by myself doing my own thing and now I'm excited to have a little bit of structure again so as of Monday, I'm having a Zoom call with a coach and I will um, talk to you about it after that, probably. I feel like if I can feel really good for my birthday, that would be nice. Welcome in the 20, my 25th year feeling the most confident and strong I've ever felt. I think that would be really nice. What's in store for today's vlog? Yesterday, I wrote my new gym plan and I'm going back to a four day split. Um, I have previously been doing a three day um, strength split because of the marathon, I didn't want to overtrain. Um, but I am now upping it back up to four strength sessions a week. Strength is my favorite. Um, so I'm doing four strength sessions and two spin classes a week as of right now. But I'm doing two upper body and two lower body. Um, yesterday I did my first upper body of my new program that I've written for myself and it's a really good program. Like I'm really proud of the program that I've written and it's so exciting that like I I could do that now and like I could do that confidently and I you know I did the workout and it was really challenging. I felt I targeted every muscle I wanted to target. I left feeling really good. I'm nice and sore and I feel like I I wrote a good workout and I I'm so like excited about it. I don't know. Something that this whole fitness journey thing has made me really like proud of myself for is how much I've learned. Like, as in like, I'm really passionate about learning about fitness. Like I love to educate myself on training techniques and tempo and different moves and correct form and things like that. Like I really love learning about it. So the fact that I can now apply it and write my own plan that I know is really effective and quite like a complex plan, it's just really like, it makes me really happy. Like it's something that I think I'm actually quite knowledgeable about now, which is so nice. Like I've never researched anything for fun as much as I've researched this. Um, and that's like two and a half years of work and I'm just like proud of myself. <laughs> so yesterday I did upper body, today is my second leg day of the week, um, and then I have a spin class tonight. It's not ideal that they're on the same day, I wouldn't usually do it, but I took Monday off because of jury duty, so it's all been kind of pushed back. Normally I'd be doing an upper body day today, but because you know what I mean. And I'm also gonna show you one of my absolute favorite go-to meals at the moment it's so easy i can't even call it a recipe because i literally use a packet of fajita seasoning i've been making it every single week um and it's just the perfect lunch dinner whatever yeah i'm just excited to take you guys on this next chapter of my fitness journey i'm not putting loads of pressure on myself to look a certain way i'm just gonna do it based on how i'm feeling and i know just from experience that once you feel good in your routine and you're relaxed in your routine and you're not stressing about it and you're not putting too much pressure on yourself the results whatever those results you want them to whatever results they may be that you want they will come um and 
you've just got to enjoy the process um and enjoying the process is half of the half of the job because if you're enjoying it it means it's sustainable like that is the most important thing if you don't think what you're doing is sustainable then you're already doing it wrong so yeah welcome to can you guys help me name these like what should we call these videos like i don't want to call them like getting back on track or like my fitness journey but could you like could you comment down below what you think a good name for this series will be and i'm not going to promise them every week or even every other week i will post them when i have things to say um but that could be once a week that could be every other week that could be once a month that could be twice in a week if i have like a really great week i don't know okay all right Ooh. Okay, so the stewed apples are almost done. And after these puppies, I'm gonna make the meal that I have been absolutely loving. It's so unbelievably easy. It's so easy to batch cook. I basically have it for lunch slash dinner every day at the moment. It's literally fajitas on rice without the wrap. So I just use fajita seasoning. I don't even make my own. I have loads of these because it's the quickest meal ever. I could easily make my own fajita seasoning, but this is when I'm feeling like lazy. Like you need things that are quick and easy so that you can just have them because laziness for me is my downfall because I'll just have like cheese on toast. Whereas this, I just season peppers, onions, chicken, it's delicious and then I just serve it on rice with a side of broccoli and it's so yummy sometimes I put cheese on top some coriander so I'm going to batch cook loads of this and then it will be ready for the week so I'm gonna do that with you now da -da -da. Yeah. 
Let's just say soap brows in the gym, not the best. <laughs> it's literally sudding on my face. That was such a good workout. La 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 la. Mm, mm, mm. I put friggin' Bulgarian split squats as the last exercise. I don't know who I think I am or why I hate myself <laughs> so very much, but that was at, that was brutal, but really good. I feel great, and I'm actually. Um, training at the moment so this week I'm trying out training in the middle of the day and I'm actually really liking it I think I might continue to do this for a while um, because usually I'm a wake up have my coffee get out the door go train come home get ready for the day blah 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 kind of gal but this week I've been getting up having my coffee while I get ready for the day and then doing you know taking pictures filming whatever i need to do vlogging cooking whatever um and then going to the gym at like one like lunchtime, um and then come home and have my lunch immediately after the gym and that's today is the third day i've done that and i really like it it feels like a nice break i spend a lot of time sat on my ass basically all day and the only time i'm not sat on my ass is when i'm at the gym it's nice to have it in the middle of the day rather than getting up, going knackering myself out in the morning and then I do just feel like I sit on the sofa and then I slump and I don't move for the rest of the day. I feel like I have a little bit more energy throughout the day and like if I have a coffee or a pre-workout before the workout even though it's like slightly later in the day I still feel like I have a good amount of energy and I actually feel like I stay there longer whereas in the morning I feel like oh I'm in a rush to get back whereas if I go in the middle of the day I've got more of a gauge of what I actually need to do when I get home and like I may have already done some of the things that are more urgent so I can be more leisurely with my time at the gym. So I've been at the gym for like an hour and a half for the past three days and it's been so nice. And then coming home and having lunch straight after. So, so lunch is like my post-workout instead of breakfast. It feels good. This is working for me right now. Right, I'm gonna make myself a, another coffee. I'll chat to you guys when my lunch is ready. Here it is. Sweet potato, sweet chilli salmon, loads of brock, covered everything in sriracha. I've also made myself a little protein smoothie. So this is banana, protein powder and cauliflower to thicken it up a little bit. And it is absolutely delicious. You can't taste the cauliflower. Good morning. I look about as knackered as I feel. <laughs> it is the Monday after Halloween weekend. I had a super fun, heavy weekend, but it was great. I mentioned that I was kind of gonna work with a coach online. So I had my little introduction phone call with her the other day. Hi, how are you? I'm good, so sorry I'm late. Yeah, me too, I'm Lindsay, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I'm Emma. And I train at the moment like five days a week. We, in 2019, I lost about 55 pounds, so I used to weigh about 200 pounds. Over, since lockdown lifted in the UK, I've gained about 15 pounds back, because I just drink too much. I've been eating a lot, I've been enjoying myself, and I have no regrets, but I wanna shift some of the weight because my clothes aren't fitting me. <laughs> Diet has just completely slipped and I've just been eating like crap basically. <laughs> um, and the app is called Copilot. You get matched up with an online coach and you can have Zoom calls and it is as 
hands-on as you want it to be. It syncs with your Apple Watch, so the workouts are on your watch. Um, and it's your coach's voice speaking to you like it is really really cool So this week is my first week doing a couple of her workouts as well as my usual strength training So I'm still going to be doing my four strength sessions. She has written me three quick half an hour Functional movement sessions to get my body moving because I sit all day every day um, I go to the gym and that is my only movement for the day. So um, that's why I'm so keen to go to the gym because otherwise I don't move. I don't do any steps or anything. So these little quick sessions are um, for kind of the middle of the day. If I need, if I feel like I need to move my body, I can do one of these and like get my heart rate up and just, you know, get a bit of blood flowing because otherwise this is where I will be all day so yeah that went really really well and i'll just keep you guys posted on how i'm finding it um as we go but i thought i would start with a little food haul and it is a very typical food shop for me there's no surprises it is basically what i order every single time so i thought it could be interesting for you guys to see what my staples in my fridge in my cupboard are and things i always like to have so that i can have easy healthy choices at arm's reach so that I'm not reaching for sweets, which is what I've been doing all weekend because of Halloween. That I have just been taking handfuls of sweets and just shoving them in my face and it was great. I felt I felt sick last night because I felt like a kid on Halloween, like eating too much sugar and feeling really, really sick. That was me last night. <laughs> let's go into the kitchen and let's see what we've got. Okay, in case some of you are new and you've never seen one of my food shops before, I thought this could be quite interesting. I find what other people buy in their food shop really interesting. So I'm sorry if you can hear the dishwasher, it's it's on. I just did a load. Okay, first things first, large eggs. Let's start with the carbs, the best bit. Some thin bagels because I wanna do cream cheese and salmon bagels for lunch. I got some wholemeal pita to go with my hummus. A wholemeal thick sliced bread. I just thought it was noodles. I didn't realize it was a ramen kit. Huh, okay, a ramen kit apparently. I don't know how I got that wrong. Anyway, also in here I have a red pepper, three lemons and three red onions. I love love red onion a massive bunch of coriander love coriander i got some diced chicken breasts pesto you've seen me talk about these before they're the kvark 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 <laughs> um from Nes from nestle this is the white chocolate um they're like really thick yogurt um and they're kind of like, they feel like desserts, but they're really, really high in protein. Speaking of yogurt, you guys know Greek yogurt is basically the most vital part of my food shop. I eat Greek yogurt like three times a day. <laughs> I got some prawn, sweet chili, salmon. Um, I love putting these in wraps and on salads. And I also got some smoked salmon for my cream cheese salmon bagel, which I'm very much looking forward to my raspberries and some blueberries you know but i eat so much fruit <laughs> so much fruit and so many vegetables i got my protein cheese i got like three heads of broccoli because i eat broccoli every day obviously i got i think yeah i got eight granny smiths every week i buy eight granny smiths and four large cooking apples and that will do me like a week and a half of stewed apples <laughs> It's down to a fine art now. My milk of choice is the Oatly Light Oat Milk. I got two salmon. I'll put one of these in the freezer. I got some jazz apples for snacking. A punnet of strawberries. More broccoli. Asparagus. Some egg whites because I like to put these just in everything. I put them in my pancakes. A little bit of extra protein into like baking. Things like that. Hummus. One of the most elite snacks. And it's also delicious in wraps and in pitters. Um, I also got like six big carrots for the hummus. Fine green beans, bean sprouts to go with the noodles, my cooking apples. <laughs> and that's my food shop. That'll last me probably about a week and a half. She is. Whew. Leg day done. I've just got home. I'm having yogurt with nectarine and raspberries and blueberries and strawberries and honey and some carrot cake protein 
and a massive, massive mug of tea. Do you want to see my beautiful new mug? Again, do I need new mugs? No. Did I want one? Yes. That's the tea, sis. Look at the size of it. from the gym guys it finally happened I ripped my leggings you see that <laughs> my ass but do you see that line yeah that's not a design that is that's a tear <laughs> and let me tell you something that is not booty gains <laughs> it's gains but it ain't muscle <laughs> I ripped my leggings <laughs> I can't believe it I have about half an hour to go from this to coffee date with Soph ready, so I don't have a lot of time to chat. I need to go body shower, get changed, and throw some makeup on my face and have a protein shake in the meantime. Okay, let's go. Hello, it's another day. I think I left you yesterday after my upper body session, shoulders and chest, and it was great. I am already feeling pretty sore, but chest is one of those things that I could literally do one chest exercise and I will always feel sore the next day. I have a very weak little chest. <laughs> I used to have pecs, like I used to have genuine pecs. But I'm trying to build those puppies back up again. Because of gravity, and also because obviously I lost a lot of weight, my boobs have sagged a lot over the past year and a half. My pecs are a lot higher than my boobs, so I kind of have like a double boob. <laughs> Ladies, gotta train chests too girls i thought i would round off today's video with what i'm eating today so last night i ended up going out for dinner with my friend sophie we went for pizza and it was amazing i'm still going out for dinner i'm still treating myself i'm still having sweets most days i'm having a cream cheese and salmon bagel and a bowl of yogurt and fruit I've got a very very busy work day today um so hopefully i won't be snacking if i have a really nice big filling breakfast and i also like to have something sweet and savory at every meal i find it stops me from snacking in between because when i have something savory i always want something sweet and when i have something sweet i always want something savory so that is my breakfast i've got a cup of tea ready to be drunk 
um i'm just gonna write a quick little to-do list for the day and then i need to film two videos today i want to go to the gym and do my second leg day of the week i'm not 100 percent sure whether that's gonna happen just because of my timeline of the day uh hopefully i'll be able to get to spin tonight as my workout if i can't go to the gym so i'm gonna eat these now and go on with some work This literally took me, I'm gonna say, 10 minutes to make. It is, so the sauce is literally just sesame oil, chili, garlic, and um, a little bit of soy sauce. Um, so it's rice noodles, bean sprouts, um, shredded carrot, pepper, and prawns. And that's it, it's so easy. To be honest, this would normally be about three portions for me, um, but the prawns needed eating by tomorrow, so. It's gonna be today and tomorrow. Delicious. I just did a back-to-back -back spin body combat class and I am broken. I'm so broken, but it's half nine um, and I forgot I had to cook my salmon. I'm so tired, wow. Yummy. Hello, I didn't end the vlog, the fitness update, whatever video last night. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just having my breakfast. I'm having yogurt a nectarine and one of my marzipan smoothies. I just got back from a killer leg session. I absolutely destroyed it. It's great. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Go to bed? <laughs> no, I'm not. I would love to go to bed. <laughs> go and shower and then do some work. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.